Hello everybody, today is Saturday, October 11th, 2019, week number 45 of our keto journey. Not my favorite week. Not my favorite week either. Uh, I don't even know where to begin. I mean, it is what it is. and uh, It's a blip on the radar. A, <laughs> a big blip. Crazy schedules. Um, it's middle of the afternoon. I've worked 4 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. the last few days. We've slept zero the last few days. Yes. Because of the schedule and because of stress and life in general. You know, haven't gone off track on my carb manager. I reviewed every day of my carb manager. Um, I, don't, I don't exactly know what's going on. We're both up this week and I, I don't have an answer for you. Stress in life and a little constipation and a little bit of stress <laughs> all mixed into the pot. So I'm trying to look past this week. Heck, we even went for a two-hour bike ride. We did. Which you'll see a video of later in the week here. I'm working on that now. So, you know, we got a lot of fitness in and uh, I've been riding the bike downstairs even and uh, eating good, staying on track. I think just, well, I know my body's not loving the schedule, um, my quote unquote lunchtime is like 7.30 in the morning, and, yeah. but I'm hungry because I've been doing physical work and, you know, I've yeah, worked up an appetite. And, and... It, it, so it's crazy. I'm not, but the last time I did midnights, my weight was up as well. And then I went back right down. Actually, I think I went less than, but it's crazy. So we'll just get to the numbers. Here's pardon, the numbers. They suck. The dust. They suck. <laughs> We're going to... Wipe it off. And All right. Beat October 5th, I was 329.4. I was very happy to be out in the 330s. And today, October 11th, a week later, I am 335.4. That is six pounds up. I don't have an explanation. There is not a day in my carb manager where I went over on carbs or on calories. I am confused and I'm frustrated. Um, and to add to that, <laughs> October 5th, I was 129.2. Yay. And this morning, when I weighed in at 3 o'clock this morning, I was 134.8. So I am up 5.6 pounds. So cumulatively together, <sighs> we are up, what, 11-something pounds? Almost 12 pounds in a week where we didn't eat any different. Did you eat any different? No. No, I, I had didn't either. Actually, had a wonderful fathead pizza last night that we made and... Um, yeah, I and know. I used the leftovers from the fat head to make two little chaffle uh, mini bagel bite pizzas for <laughs> my lunch today. So it was all, you know, keto and it was all yeah. within my macros and everything worked. So I'm, I'm very stumped. Yeah. I'm going to try and look past this week as just a blur yeah. and get back on, I mean, I'm on track, but just to try and get back to sleeping better, going to the bathroom better. Um, dealing with stress because we have a lot of things going on. We've lost a couple of people that are close to us within this last week as well, which was a little stressful uh, yeah. as well. And I lost a classmate as well. Um, yeah, so uh, lots going on with that. Uh, we will have a video of us on our bikes, our e-bikes. We went for so almost fun. a two-hour ride earlier in the week, which should have helped with all this. <laughs> you know, we were out busting our butts. And uh, yeah, that'll be out hopefully by the beginning to midweek. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's crazy. I, I, obviously, we're both still wearing glasses. Eyes are really tired. Yeah, I couldn't put contacts in if I wanted to. 3 a.m. came really early this morning. Um. <laughs> and then I don't sleep when she's not home. And yeah. Oh, well. So that's our weekly update, and this was probably our worst one that I could think of. I can't it's, even think of another week that was this bad. And me either. It, it, it was bad. I mean, it was just I, bad. I'm almost six pounds up. I am six pounds up, and, and I don't have pounds. an answer. Because I look through my car manager, I'm like, where did I mess up? What did I do wrong? I'm eating the same hmm. stuff. Um, not stress. lack of exercise, because I've been averaging anywhere from 18 to 22,000 steps yeah, in, I even had like 14,000 steps the other day. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, busting butt, getting up 4.30 in the morning, getting moving. I wish this week is just odd. Back to a regular schedule for but, a little bit. But we did say, for better or for worse, up, down, sickness, and then health, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're just doing it. So here it is. Here's the numbers. They suck. I know it. She knows it. 
Have not gone off course. But didn't didn't fudge the scale. No, I no, no. I wouldn't do that. That's that's All just right. dumb. Um, so uh, yeah, so that's we both our wanted numbers. to cry this morning. <laughs> I didn't want to make this video, but we had to wait for Stacy to get home. She didn't get home till almost twelve thirty, one o'clock. So yeah. um, now it's a little later. I'm gonna bust butt to get this video out Saturday afternoon, oh, and then we have to go to a funeral tonight. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go try and get an hour's nap in. We yeah, you go, you go take a nap. I'll work on the video and uh, we'll get back on the horse here. I mean, I wish I could just say I cheated and it was right. worth it. And That's I what ate, I'm saying. And I know. ate horrible and, you know, no. You could say nothing. I ate that big juicy burger Whatever. with with the bun and the fries. Julia, and Julia asked me what I miss on keto. I said, gosh, I, I, I said, I guess Chinese. I guess like Marco's pizza because we always enjoyed like having a you pizza. You know, night. I'm not so worried. But I like our pizza. I say with the fat heads. I thought our fat was. And then good. the then the only other thing I could think of was spaghetti and garlic bread. But I know how horrible both of those are for me, so I just stay away from it. I think the bread is what I miss. I don't really miss spaghetti. Um, I do miss Outback's fettuccine alfredo. Yeah, that's pretty good. That I miss because it's spicy. Yeah. <laughs> that was the No Rules Pasta no or rules Queensland pasta. Chicken and Shrimp. Right. Queensland Chicken and Shrimp was the old name, and I think they brought that name back too. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for checking in with us. We will see you next week, and gosh, I hope it's better results and numbers. This was the weirdest week ever on keto, period. Agreed. I don't even have anything to say. We'll Bye. Bye.